Welcome back to our sixth episode. My name is Justin Kendall. Estevansky won't be with us today. He's got to take care of his kid, but that's cool. He's doing the daddy thing. That's pretty sweet. Oh, sweet. Anyways, um, I just want to go over a few things that I found odd, awesome, kinky, and everything in between. First off, I would hate to be living in Venezuela right now because they're running low on one of my favorite commodities. That being said, Google has announced some apps for their upcoming Google Glasses, and they just make me want them even more. Then, a naked picture, or portrait, I should say, of an actress sells for almost $2 million. And no, it's not Kim Kardashian, but we've all already seen that, so who cares, really, honestly. All that and more on this episode of Red Pod Radio, so just sit, watch, and listen, because we are the podcast. Bringing you a different perspective on entertainment, technology, and the top news stories around the world... This is Red Pod Radio with hosts Justin Kendall and Estevansky, where something's about everything. All right, in Venezuela, in Venezuela right now, you may have a hard time going to the bathroom because they're having a shortage of the glorious thing we all like to call toilet paper. President Maduro claimed the anti-government forces are causing the shortages of the toilet paper to subvert him and disrupt the entire country of Venezuela. Economists say are saying this is actually from the government-controlled prices for things like toilet paper and other essentials. The president of Venezuela is saying they're going to saturate the market by ordering over 50 million rolls of the poopy paper. Um, really? The government... Really? They're probably just using it to clean up the messes they're making. No, just seriously. <laughs> yeah, seriously, though. Um, what I want to kind of see is, why do they have these shortages in the first place? Is it because of these anti-government forces? Or, you know, is it is it really the government ruling the people? Um, I'm leaning more towards the government ruling the people because it's more of a communist regime there where they're controlling everything like toilet paper, you know, toothpaste, everything in the essentials. They're controlling the basics... Um, and the prices of these basics that we need in life and so that and they're having a they don't have enough foreign money in their country to bring in these these products from the foreign so in and to have them blame these anti-government forces is kind of stupid it, you know i guess they always have to have someone they they give the blame to but come on really you got to own up to your mistakes say you know what we're not doing what we need to do then again, this is kind of what happened back in the Soviet Union, you know, back in the day when they were the Soviet Union. Just people running out of things that they needed, and and so hopefully they get this toilet paper down to them, because that's a pretty crappy, crappy story down there. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Alright, I know that's kind of stupid. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. Uh, Google has some new news that's blowing me away. Like, with the glasses, yesterday they announced some apps that they're going to be having with it. Some of these should be of no surprise to anybody unless you've been living under a rock for like the last past five years. Anyways, they showed off their, at the developers conference, the Tumblr app, Facebook, Twitter, CNN, and I think the other one was the New York Times app. So the New York Times, those are pretty cool. You can look up some stories and they're just basic things. The Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter are pretty neat. You can take a picture and upload it to your feed on either, you know, the respective social networks. That's pretty neat. Um, the only thing different, the one is Twitter. If you get a notification, you can respond to that notification right away, and that's pretty sweet. So, I mean, right now, it's it's while this is a step towards awesomeness, oh, boy, do I want to see more. I am just, at least let me wear some. That's all I want to do, please. Oh. Anyways, but saying this, I would pay Google to run my life. Literally, if they're like, we are taking people who want to have things implemented in them for awesomeness, I would say yes. Because Google, they just love it. everything awesome. Like the car they're doing, Google Fiber, these glasses, man, they're just pushing the edge of technology, and I love it, and I want to have it all. But if you need the glasses right now, it's like 1500 bucks. so kind of can't afford that. Yeah, thing as I work at, you know, call center. Yeah. Oh, well, who cares? Anyways, moving on. In weird naked news, I've got to always have my weird naked news of the day, you know? <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't do? Well, we'll go, we'll go back to it. In weird naked news, a painting by John Kieran of actress B. Arthur, 
who died in 2009 at the age of 26, 86, was sold for nearly $2 million. The painting is based off a photo of her where she was actually wearing clothes. It doesn't actually being said who purchased the painting, but obviously they're a big fan of the Golden Girls. I bet they can't wait to get their hands on the Betty White version of this and, you know, finish their collection of the whole Golden Girls naked pictures. But I'm sure it's out there somewhere. <laughs> and then, first off, let me say, who is paying that kind of money for a naked picture when the internet was created exactly for that reason? And watching my podcast <laughs> and other things. But And then, second, why can't this guy come paint a picture of me and I can make some money? Because everybody knows you like it the way I look. I see how you look. That's right. All right. Now, with the upcoming movies, music, games for this next week. Let's pull that up here. We have the Star Trek Into Darkness is coming out this next week, which is, looks pretty sweet. Um, it looks like a lot of action and boom, boom, you know, bam, explosions. But that yeah, looks good. Um, top of the box box office. Box office. Box office this week, you have Iron Man 3, The Great Gatsby, Pain and Gain, Peoples, and 42. So, not bad there. Let's see. Let's pull down here. Alright, new music coming out this next week. There's a couple that look pretty cool. Uh, Daft Punk, The National, uh, Darius Ruckers, Beth Hart, and The Joe... Sorry, I'm going to ruin this. Bonamassa. Bonamassa. Aha. And 30 Seconds to Mars, Airborne, yeah, and Primus. So the two that I'm looking for is like Airborne and 30 Seconds to Mars. A lot of people are giving some comments on this 30 Seconds to Mars saying they don't like the electro vibe they're doing with the new single that they have out. But more often than not, a lot of people are actually enjoying it. So I'm one of those people who enjoys it. I think a band should always change from their primary sound just because it, it gives a good, you know, you're not the monotony of continuing the same sound is just not there so I love it when they change up a little bit like that all right and in games this week there's Donkey Kong Country returns 3d so I guess that's on the 3ds you got Resident Evil Revelations you have the incredible adventures of Van Helsing the Call of Juarez gunslinger and Fast and Furious Showdown I mean there's a few others Oh, Lego Batman 2 DC superheroes so if you're one of those Lego fans there you go there's that also um, look for Xbox's new announcement on the 21st where they're most likely going to show us the next gen console and what's inside. So you can either look that on your Xbox on the day or Spike TV, I believe, is the one. Check that out because I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty thick. All right. So that is everything I have for you today um, and this week. Again, thanks for listening, watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Um, if you would, uh, my name is Justin Kendall and again, no Estevansky here this week. And I forgot to do the weird local story where I'm seeing things, but you know what? We'll do one next week. It's a weird week. Catch me on fully loaded sports this Friday on 88.1 Weber FM. You know, I'll be doing the sports shows. Like I said, I won't be doing sports on this anymore, but I will be on there. So make sure to check it out. It's a good two hours of sports. Sportsy goodness. Anyways, this has been Red Pod Radio. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bringing you a different perspective on entertainment, technology, and the top news stories around the world. This is Red Pod Radio with host Justin Kendall and Estevansky, where something's about everything. Thank you.